Hi everyone, Love Coach Macy here, starting our five day cootie killing, immune boosting, love attracting challenge that is designed to support you to be in these times. These are unprecedented times and we can't quarantine our desire for connection. We can't quarantine, there's Miss Chubby Texas. <laughs> we can't stop that. And so today we're gonna really talk about what we can be, be here for each other, connect, because we're in this group we are, we are a possibility for something different when we come together. So I'm so glad you're here. Hello. You know, really, if you haven't noticed, I mean, really things are, oops, evolving every day. And my, invitation for us is to do the things that are supporting us and nourishing us. So welcome. If you're joining, let me know you're here so I can see. And I just want the, today's day, day one of our challenge is really themed around you can't quarantine love and stopping the spread of fear. And so if you're here and you're feeling fear, which I've been going on my own roller coaster around this, so I'm not saying that fear is wrong or shouldn't be acknowledged and what else can we be? Because unfortunately, when we lock into the fear, when we align and agree and are in the swarm of the fear of all of this, it doesn't mean there's not legit things we're concerned about. Like really, we have no idea what, what's happening, like what's coming. And so this is, this is a time to know what you know, and you have a choice. You can either let the fear take you into kind of a puddle of being the, the victim or a puddle of suffering or we can choose to nourish ourselves in the ways that we can. So even if we are at home and social distancing and doing the things, because I'm doing the things, I'm washing my hands, I'm staying out of public as much as possible. We know that, you know, there are some recommendations and I'm following my own awareness about that and honoring you know what we know about it and doing the things but also being in the space that we can create what it is we want because it's easy to say oh okay well now I'm gonna have to stop everything I'm gonna have to stop I'm stopping working, I'm stopping going out, I'm stopping networking, I'm stopping socializing, I'm stopping and getting into the fee the financial fears and the, you know, being alone fears, like all of that, that can take us away, but you can't stop the desire to connect, you can't stop what happens when we do come into community and actually community is a thing okay you could stop going into community but you can't stop that inherent desire to connect 
So I'm so happy that you guys are here receiving this and I really am I'm here to be a support for you and this first day so this first day is really themed around you know quarantine doesn't stop us from being loving quarantine doesn't stop us from being creative quarantine doesn't stop us from connecting with one another and it doesn't stop us from having the desire for love. Right now, quarantine gives us some space to nurture ourselves in ways that maybe we haven't before, or in new ways, or in um, in honoring actually what's really mattering to us right now. So, I'm waving to people <laughs> on the screen. Um, so what share with, I mean, I would love to hear for, from you all what it is that, um, you're desiring. I want to know how you're doing and, and how I can be a support, but today's invitation, and I'd like to, to invite people to truly consider practicing these things that we'll share in this five day, like actually choosing these things for the 24 hours that we have each day. And in the, in this, in the spirit of actually creating something different at the end of five days, like what can we do for our bodies and our beings that actually will change the world on an energetic level. All of you who are here, all of you who are showing up have amazing magic within you. You have, you have lifetimes of medicine women, which is uh, magic and miracles that you have known that you, that are within you, whether you have acknowledged them or not. So I wonder what this moment in time is that can be that awareness of all that you are and have always been, but maybe have been distracted by all those other things. So when I say we can't quarantine love, that we, the inner part of all that we are, that awareness of what we know and what we can choose for ourselves to be nourished, and whether it's, you know, reaching out or, or learning something new or, um, or you know being on something like this or meditating more or crafting more whatever the thing is that um you know if we are in the the spirals of fear that part is not available to us so notice that notice when you're in the fear then you're not able to be in your own knowingness. You're not being able to be actually present for yourself. So one of the things that I've been playing with is inviting myself to a kind of no tolerance fear zone. And I will say that I haven't been able to necessarily hold that uh, perfectly because I have had some moments and it's not to say that, you know, having moments is a wrong thing. Like, I just want to reassure you of that. Like, you're a human being and things are going to come up. We can't just bypass, you know, our emotional operating system 
but we can actually recognize, you know, or ask some questions about it when it comes up. Like when, when that rush of fear comes up for me, I do ask like, well, what is this? Because um, I did go to a store yesterday. I know we're not supposed to be going out much, but I did go to a store and as soon as I walked into the store, I felt this rush of panic in me. And, and I was really uncomfortable and I was walking around and I was seeing, you know, empty shelves and then um, noticing it and, and really feeling my body responding. And then I asked myself, like, what is this? What is this? really and when I did ask what is this I actually was aware of all of the people who have been coming into that space in total panic in total fear grabbing things and whatever and I and here's the deal like there's no shame in you wanting to have what you need to have in your in your space so I'm not saying that that is a wrong thing but I am aware of what I noticed when I went in there and when I was able to just acknowledge that there's just a lot of people in fear right now and that I've, you know, we all are empathic in that way, whether we're acknowledging that or not, that, you know, begin to notice that for yourself too. And what is it going to, um, how are your choices serving you right now? Like, are there things that you can give yourself that are going to support you in being in this time? I see a comment, so I'm going to read it. Hold on. We are actually fortunate we live in the time we do as we have other forms of communicating. And I'm enjoying this space to just be and focusing on being more of me. I have reached crone age so now is the time for me so yeah like really that you know i love the question if this weren't a problem what would the possibility be if this weren't a problem what would the possibility be so i can only ask that question if i'm not in complete panic so um so I also want to offer you all, you know, point you to the meditation that I created the other day that was called From Panic to Power. And it's a real, really good visceral like healing experience that you can do. And please do it. You know, it's free. I created it one morning because I knew that you know, personally, I needed it too. So I I will make sure I post it in the comments below so you have it. But I've posted it a couple different times in the group. And you can go to the YouTube channel, which is Love Vibe TV, and check it out. Um, but day one here is recognizing that, you know, just because there are a lot of things changing, there's a lot of things closing, there's social distancing, there's there's these things that it doesn't mean that there aren't other things actually happening. There are, there are still businesses that are alive and well to support us in this, this whole thing. You know, we don't know. This is, like I said, uncharted territory. And in these times are the times that all of us can actually support the energy space and consciousness of changing this by being something different the more of us that can jump into a matrix that is in question like okay what is it that i can be today that would support you know healing the planet right away and you don't even have to really know what that means this isn't an intellectual thing but your energy really does matter for your body, for your nervous system, from everyone around you. I had someone share with me the other day that, 
you know, she was feeling pretty strong in her, her nervous system around all this, but her husband was having a really hard time. And by him being in the fear and her being in the same space, that that was really hard to keep herself, uh, you know, in a place that was serving her. And so I suggested her doing that meditation from panic to power and she did it. And she said that it was amazing for her because, you know, when we change our energy, it does become a ripple out. And, you know, it, um, so she did it. She said it felt amazing. And right after she finished that meditation, her husband came into the room and they had a lovely supportive talk. So, you know, these are the times to, to really, um, it's, it's kind of a hunkering down, like we're hunkering down in our homes, but how can we hunker down in our own consciousness and awareness that is going to be um, a ripple for others? It doesn't mean that if you have like a meltdown or like I did yesterday, I, I had this like total stress release sob and it just felt so good to have that release. And, um, you know, that that's what my body needed. And then I was able to kind of come back into being in my own um, space and and just listen to myself. So, um, so I love this. I love playing with you know. I guess my message today is that you really do have power. In this space even if it feels like and appears like and maybe actually happening where the world is crumbling around like things that worked aren't working anymore so what is a, what is kind of emerging out of this is a chance to really honor you and that you matter to you and what is it that you can be right now to support yourself and that is not something that can ever be quarantined your love the energy of you the space that is you and listening to yourself and honoring you is is so vast you know your body is just within that big infinite being that is you so when you're you're um, not distracted by all of the, the spiraling fear. What can you choose right here and now that then becomes actually an innovation? Because we can thrive right now. And it's, it's sort of imperative that if you're here, and you you have a choice and um and these choices are going to include taking care of you when you're finding that things are hard your choices are can include reaching out to someone your choices can include you know having that support i had a session with one of my coaches this morning and it was such a relief it was such a relief to be able to just be on line with that person and and discuss what was what was happening for me, what's been changing because things are changing all the time and and how good it felt to actually connect with another person. So there are so many different ways. And so this inner work, you know, for those of you who are single, this is a, an amazing time to do that kind of work, to get to that space of, 
you know, honoring. Like if you're feeling alone, because I, I, I can imagine there's some of you out there that are used to going out and being in offices or being around people or socializing in the break room. And now like being quarantined at home, you know, if that's where your job is now, like to have that change when you're used to the having energy of people around you, that that's that's hard. That's a big change. So what can you um what does that tell you? Like if if you are aware of that and you want to learn how to connect in new ways, then um First of all, I invite you to the apocalyptic love that is online dating savvy for the times. And that's a different group that I set up because I am wanting to go through some topics around that. Um, so please join me over there. And we're gonna, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I have a list of a million things that I can share with you. <laughs> and because these are the times to really understand that. And the cool part about this is that, you know, when we can really learn how to create meaningful connections online, whether it's for our business, for, you know, staying connected with our family and friends, that, you know, it's a little different. And it takes, especially when you're meeting people you haven't met before. So, you know, in order to even go there, we have to be able to, you know, be with our own emotional system and, and take the care. So today is, you know, honoring your awareness, honoring and recognizing that you have the choice to, um, to use this time to nourish rather than to go into the puddle. And, and in the nourishing, if you sense you're going into puddle, reach out, connect, message me, you know, post in the group, do something to let us know that you need support. And we'll do that. Um, and, you know, what can you do to be more diligent in managing your own emotional space right now? Because like I said, you're, there's so much fear churning that it's gonna, it can be really easy to think that's yours or take it on or try to like, um, to like kind of align with that trajectory and that's not necessarily going to serve you. So know that you can make other choices and that you can actually really decide. I mean, honestly, I know this isn't going to be for everyone, but to for me to say that I am holding a no fear zone for myself has been super helpful. So um, that just means, you know, as the fear arises to see it, say hello, I, I recognize it, I recognize there's a lot going on and begin to ask some questions like, what is this? Is this mine? You know, can I actually, what can I do to create a change right now? And play with those kinds of questions. What is it? Can I change it? You know, what can I be right now to nourish myself? And it may be crying. It may be taking a bath. It may be, you know, going for a walk. It may be learning something new on YouTube that you haven't been doing because you felt so much of the hustle and bustle that was there before. So, and, and, you know, do the things, the things that you need to do that make you feel good. You know, if you're needing supplies and you can't get them, ask. If you're needing supplies and you can get them, get what you need that's going to make you feel comfortable. It doesn't matter, 
you know, if there's no judgment. Like if you need a lot of toilet paper, find a lot of toilet paper somehow if you can. You know, there's, you know, I know there's a lot of posts about that and I've even you had said a couple things, but I also acknowledge that, you know, if that's going to help someone feel um, safer, then great, you know. This is about taking care of each other and starting with taking care of ourselves. So I really hope this was helpful. I want to be here for you and I'm going to show up here every day for five days in a row. Who knows, maybe longer. But please let me know how I can serve you. But the today's day is love doesn't stop. Connection doesn't stop. You know, being aware of how fear takes you away from, you know, the knowingness that you have within you, the wisdom within you, the teacher within you that can guide you and say, okay, what do I know about all this? You know, because there are, you know, lifetimes of wisdom that you can access in yourselves when you listen. If you can trust what you hear when you listen, that is, it's not, it's under that fear. So if you can find ways to move beyond, please do the meditation from panic to power. Please let that be one of your things that you play within this 24 hours. And then in the next 24 hours, we'll add another um, perspective, tool, practice, to be with. So let's let's be here. Love isn't stopping. You can connect. You can connect. We need each other. Community heals. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Bye.